Hi, Circle Time friends. My name is Aspen Sahirsky, and today I will be reading you my first book that I wrote and illustrated to all of you. It's called The Treasure Hunt. I hope you like it. Let's begin. The Treasure Hunt, written and illustrated by me, Aspen Sahirsky. Fox was playing in the forest by herself one morning. She was feeling bored and lonely because her family had just moved to a new part of the forest and she didn't have any friends yet. While Fox played, she found a treasure map. She imagined the greatest treasure. She imagined a ball that she could play with. Feeling a bit unsure at first, Fox decided to follow the map. The map took her to a grassy area where she found a skunk. Skunk warned her, If you come any closer, I will spray you. This is my grassy area. Get out of here. If you don't spray me, you can come with me to find some treasure, said Fox. Okay, fine. I am a little lonely. No one seems to want to be my friend because it gets a bit stinky around here. I really hope the treasure is some perfume, remarked Skunk. They both set off to find the treasure together. The map took them to a large cave where they met a bear. Said, This is my cave, skedaddle! Skunk replied, Let us in, or I will spray you! No, Skunk, Bear can help us find the treasure too! Bear, would you like to help us find the treasure with us? Fox asked. Bear said, Oh, fine, I guess it does get a bit lonely in here, this big cave by myself. I sure do hope the treasure is some sweet and tasty honey! Well then, let's go, said Skunk. I want to find my sweet-smelling perfume. Together, Fox, Skunk, and Bear headed out to find the treasure. They finally arrived at a river. They heard a high-pitched voice say, Arr, this is my river, scram, mateys! Please let us cross the river. We are on an important mission to find treasure. You can come with us if you like, replied Fox. Oh, fine. I do like myself some treasure, mother daughter. I really hope the treasure is some shiny stones, he continued. Fox said, the map shows that the treasure is at the bottom of the river. Oh, mateys, I think I can get it. Otto dove to the bottom of the river and saw a glistening treasure box. He brought it to the surface where the others were waiting for him. Otto said, It's my shiny rocks. No, Skunk said, It's my sweet smelling perfume. I don't think so. It's my delicious honey bear, entrapped Fox said, I think it will be a ball for me to play with. What are we waiting for? Let's open it, shouted Otter. Fox slowly opened the lid and found something gold and shiny. It's a charm, and there's only one. Who should get it? Bear suggested. I have an idea. How about we split the charm into four pieces and we share it? Bear took a stone and broke the charm into four even pieces. Bear handed out a piece of the broken charm to each new friend. Fox said, the real treasure here is our sweet friendship. Every day after that, they played together and wore their piece of charm around their necks proudly. The end. I hope you liked my story about friendship. Thank you for listening. Bye.